Hey, good morning guys, it's Brad. It is freezing cold in the back of our bookstore. It actually snowed yesterday. Today's video is gonna be about what sold on eBay. We had 15 sales, only 13 paid for, but a pretty good day for us, and we're gonna show you what sold, so stay tuned. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started with what sold on eBay. We had a pretty decent day yesterday. Um, I don't know if it had something to do with the stimulus checks, but I'm guessing it did. Both sales on uh, sales on both platforms, eBay and Amazon, were actually up yesterday. So don't know if it's because people are getting money into their accounts and they're looking to spend, or or what the case is. But uh, we're happy uh, we're happy with the sales. So let's go ahead and get started on uh, what sold sold another set of the um, parents choice uh, silicone nipples these are uh, for bottles there's uh, nine of them total it's three packs of three sold for $19.99 with uh, free shipping and uh, we shipped one yesterday and it cost about three dollars in the little box that we put it in um, so not uh, not expensive at all to ship those out um, <coughs> excuse me I uh, just listed this yesterday and it sold to, uh, last night. This is an open box net gear power line. This actually helps your Wi-Fi in your house run a little bit quicker. Um, it's new in package, it's new, but with an open box sold for $33.50 plus free shipping for the buyer. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's always a nice, a nice sale. Um, I'm not quite sure where we got that. That was an older item I found in the death pile. Uh, sold the other PlayStation controller, if you guys saw yesterday, it's in box two, which is up here. Um, we sold one PlayStation 1 controller, and this is a PlayStation DualShock, and it's kind of ugly. Um, I was a little worried that it might not sell because it's so ugly looking. It looks great on the front, but then on the back, and I made sure to show the pictures, you can see where it's discolored um, from that, but uh, you know that was in our death pile as well it sold for $12 uh, free shipping it's gonna cost us about four bucks to ship that out all right a ring solar panel so we sold this last week buyer paid for it buyer got it buyer did not open it thankfully it's in BS 2 a5 I think it's behind this pixel pals that's right here didn't open it and said hey I ordered the wrong item I'd like to return it. We took the return, we relisted it, and we sold it again. Um, so happy that that happened. Um, glad that he didn't open it. And uh, that was $45 with free shipping. Uh, it's kind of some kind of solar panel for your spotlight cameras for Ring. Um, sold a vintage rare uh, tape measure. And this sold for $10 plus $3 in shipping paid by the buyer. This is a Lufkin uh, metric tape measure. It's in decent condition. Um, I paid 99 cents for this at Goodwill. And uh, like I said, uh, sold. And we're always glad when, when the odd items sell, you know, the ones that we're unsure of when we buy them, uh, sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, got some DVDs that sold here. We've got um, the Kent Chronicles. And it's in BS2 C1, so it's right here. And apparently, this is a pretty sought-after uh, item. I think we sold a new one. Um, this is a used one, it appears. Yeah, it's a used one. And this has got um, looks like some big names in there with uh, William Shatner and Kim Cattrall and Don Johnson um, when they were younger, of course. And uh, this sold for $18 plus the buyer paid shipping. And it's a used DVD, so definitely a bolo to keep your eye out on um, if you see that DVD. We sold some more DVDs. And this, is this VHS or DVD? Let's take a look here. This is the, it's called The Young Ones, three volume BBC comedy. Oh, it's a VHS lot. Whoa, I don't even remember listing this. Uh, BS1, B1. So BS1, B1, which would be right here. And there they are. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's take a look here. Same Logitech controller that hasn't sold yet. We sold one of those yesterday. All right, 
Let's take a look here. If we can get them out. So VHS does sell, uh, but it's been so long that I don't remember listing them. So that tells you how fast it sold. Um, these are brand new uh, VHS tapes, and it's basically from the BBC channel. And they're called the Young Ones. So uh, the three pack of that sold, and those will go medium mail. Sold for thirteen ninety nine plus free shipping on those. Um, we've got a Grease two DVD that sold. Actually, we had two Grease two DVDs sell. Both for $5.50, and it's the one with their um, the ones that look like this. So we sold two of those. Those cost $2.80 to ship media mail. We slide them in a little bubble mailer and then send them on their way. It's quick, it's easy, they're super fast to list. Um, so we sold two of those as well. And let's see. We had some books that we sold, and they're down here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna grab them all the way out because they're really heavy. Um, they didn't sell for too much, but these were free to the bookstore. These sold for $15, plus the buyer paid like, I don't know, $12 in shipping because they're super heavy. But it's the Bible Commentary series, and there's four books, and I'll actually just go ahead and grab these so you guys can see them. They're in good condition. Uh, these were God's people, Bible history. So it's basically Bible history books. They're very big, very large, very heavy. And here's some beautiful Bible stories. So uh, $15 plus the buyer paid. Uh, shipping media mail we're probably gonna break even on but uh, might be close I don't know we may make a little money off the shipping who knows all right we've got three more items it looks like we sold a jacket this is a Carter's jacket and it is in one of these boxes I gotta figure out which one it's in sometimes when we list them we don't get the uh, listings in properly or the uh, locations improperly and I know it's in one of these boxes so I'm going to uh, take a put you guys down and take a look and uh, see if we can find it all right there it is it's a little Carter's green and pink jacket we bought this at TJ Maxx and I think we sold it online we sold quite a few on uh, Amazon I mean and uh, this one came back it was still new so we decided to just flip it to eBay and uh, it sold for $14 plus free shipping. We'll just put that in a poly bag and then uh, send it on its way. So, oh, we just had another order that got paid for. Uh, this is a pretty interesting item and it's down here in the corner. And I know you guys probably can't see that because our lighting is so odd back here. But let me see if I can grab it without moving anything around. Yep, there we go. This is a Matronics Vintage Psychedelic Light. And um, I paid less than $5 for this. In fact, I'm probably uh, more certain that I paid $2.99 for it than anything. Uh, it has a green light bulb in there that works. There's like red, yellow, and orange. Um, but this is a Psychedelic Disco Vintage Light. And it's really... I'm not quite sure what it's used for, but my guess is it's when people uh, want some cool lighting, like disco lighting. It doesn't flash or anything, though, but it's got this really cool light on it. So I'm actually going to show you guys because it's really cool. And uh, this sold for $80 plus shipping. And if you can see that right there, isn't that cool looking? To me, it looks like something you would maybe take LSD and then stare at and get lost in it. But it can be multiple color. It can be one color right now. It's only green because the green bulb is the only one that's working. I disclosed that in my uh, in my uh, listing and said, you know, I took pictures and said it can be all kinds of uh, different colors or whatever you want. But like I said, that sold for $80. That's plastic on the front. So it's not going to be too hard to ship and the buyer did pay uh, shipping for it. So, and it's pretty close to me. It's actually uh, maybe about a 40 minute drive from me, uh, but that's where it's shipping to. So pretty cool uh, there. Uh, the item that just came in that sold is in tote one. And this is the most random thing in a way. So I found these little card checklists. It's like this pirates game and they get these little teeny tiny dice in them. And um, I paid like for 50 of these, I paid like $2 or $3 for them. Well, this pack right here sold for $3 plus shipping. And 
I just don't think they're going to sell, sell. When I originally looked them up, you know, we all make that mistake. We look at something, we're like, oh man, this is going to make a ton of money. And when I got it back to the, you know, where we list back here, um, it really wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. So I'm just glad to get my money back. That will go in a small envelope and we'll send it on its way. And uh, the buyer did pay shipping. So, um, and they actually paid $3.93 in shipping. So maybe we'll make a little bit of money on that. <laughs> Uh, last item to show you guys today, unless we get a whole bunch in while um, we are shipping, is a lot of 37 Harlequin books. And they're in RM22, which is probably going to be on the bottom. It never fails. It's usually on the bottom. This is a lot of 37 Romance uh, Harlequin books, paperbacks, for $33.29 plus the buyer paid shipping. Uh, I see RM24, RM23. Where the heck is RM22? Uh, let me take a look around and let me find these and show them to you guys.